Hi everybody, welcome to another Roland Zen Beats tutorial. Um, today I would like to uh, focus on audio effects and also on sound tracks. So let's click on the new song to create a new song. Let's close um, the uh, drum editor for the first track and also go on the timeline view. So we have a drum track as normal. Let's um, double click on the drum track to open the editor and let's create a simple uh, bit. Um, and this time actually, let's uh, select one from a pattern. So let's click on the pattern and let's click basic eight. And let's click on the play sound to test it. Okay, now uh, let's close that um, um, editor and let's expand here on the bottom left the setting for the tracks and let's look at the bottom. So here at the bottom we have plugins. At the moment the only plugin is selected is drums. So let's click on the audio effects. This brings uh, up on the right hand side the list of uh, plugins. At the moment, we have all plugins selected. Let's click on the cut category and let's select the Zenbeats plugin. So, under Zenbeats plugin, so um, let's start adding uh, a normal one like a reverb. So, let's click on the plus and sign to um, add a reverb. So, let's close that. And um, and let's try. You should be hearing uh, the reverb effect which has been applied. Of course, you can double click on the reverb to bring up the settings of the reverb where you can change size, dumping, with pre delay high and low cuts and also you can set some pre you can select some presets up here so and of course uh, uh, change your pre and post gain and the level of mixing so actually let's increase the level of mixing a little bit so let's close again that audio effects and um, something i also want to show you is that you can add automation related to um, the audio effect. So if you click here on the meters to expand uh, uh, the visibility of additional settings, here you have a selection for automation. Click on that, then click on add a new automation. And you can see now at the bottom, you can actually set some parameters for the audio effect. For example, post, pre-gain, wet and dry mix, size, etc., etc. So let's uh, try, for example, with uh, the um, wet and dry mix. Here we are in the selection of, um, uh, sorry, on the screen of the automation. Let's click on the tool paint and uh, let's add um, some automation. Something like this. Okay, and let's click play to here, right? Let's click stop and let's uh, exit the automation. And as you can see, the automation is also visible in the timeline, which is very useful. So you can continue like this and add, and add the additional audio effects, just clicking on the audio effects and again selecting any additional effects that you would like to apply. But for the purpose of this tutorial now, what I would like to show you is how to add other effects by use a send tracks instead. So first of all, make sure that um, send tracks are visible. So uh, clicking on uh, uh, this icon for visibility, make sure to select show uh, send tracks. Then with uh, the parameters of the track still available, click on the plus send. And here again, you have uh, the same window where you can select the different 
plugins. I stick to Zenbit plugins, and this time uh, for the right effect, I choose a gator. So let's click on the plus sign there, and let's choose something uh, like so, where half of the first part is actually mute, is active, and the second part is muted. So, and as you can see, you have a new track here. It's called the Send One Gator, and at the moment it's selected. Okay, let's click play. Not much of a difference, but of course, let's bring up the mixer and let's solo uh, the send track and let's click play. As you can hear, now that we have only the send track uh, um, available from as an audio out, so it is in solo mode, you can hear the gator uh, effect which is applied. And therefore the first part, <clears throat> first two bits are actually, half of the measure is audible and the second part is not audible. So let's uh, close again the mixer and let's go back uh, to this track as you can see that's the gator so we double click on the gator and we can go back to the settings of the particular effects which is applied to the send tracks of course you can add additional effects on the send track or what you can do is go back to the drums and select an, ad an additional send for example you can say i send these to a new send track and in this send track I'm going to add a bit crusher like so and for the right emphasis let's increase the, the rate and also the bits let's click play Let's solo just the bit crusher track so you can hear it properly. Okay, um, something interesting as well is if you go back to the uh, drum track and you expand to get the settings uh, near the mittens and you go back to automation, you can also add automation related to the send tracks so in this case you can set the send amount for the gator and also the send amount for the bit crusher so you can influence the amount which the two uh, send tracks are actually receiving you can achieve actually the same um, effect if you applied automation directly to one of the same track in this way uh, the beauty, of course, of applying it directly to the send track is that you have um, accessibility to additional settings for the particular audio effect. But you could apply an automation for the volume here, which will be giving you the same effect of adding an automation from the drum track, um, trying to influence the send amount to one of the uh, send tracks. Um, this can come very handy, of course, to have different send tracks because you can run them independently and therefore you might decide to uh, output just uh, uh, the audio for the particular send track, uh, which might be something that you wish to do. Of course, with so many parameters in terms of automation, you can uh, really, uh, you really have unlimited choices on what uh, what you can do, you can keep adding effects, plugins, you can keep adding send tracks, each send tracks can have multiple effects on their own, you can have automation on the main track, on the send tracks, um, on the audio effects, and also between um, um, main track and send tracks, as we just seen, so very much a limitless uh, possibility. I hope you enjoy and you found this useful, see you next time.